Welcome to our lecture online. Our next problem deals with moment of inertia. Those are always kind of fun. So is this one. All right, let's read the problem and see what we have. It's part of the JE main physics mechanics problems, and it reads four equal masses m, each is placed at the corners of a square of length l as shown in the figure. So they were nice enough to show as a figure. The moment of inertia of the system about an axis passing through A and parallel to DB would be. All right, so first of all, let's add some additional information on the drawing. So they have an axis that passes through A, which is parallel to D and B. So let's draw that. It looks like that would be this axis right here. And now notice that this mass, as this whole thing rotates around this axis, does not have a moment of inertia because it's right on the axis. We only have to worry about these three pieces. And notice that the distance from D to the axis would be here, the distance from D to the axis would be here, and notice that this would be uh, the square root, well actually, if this is L, then this here would be the square root of two times L for this distance right here. This would be half that distance, so this would be the square root of 2 over 2 times L, and this would be the square root of 2 over 2 times L. All right, that doesn't look like a square root. So now we have the distances from each of these three masses to the axis, and now we can imagine this is going to revolve around the axis of rotation there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is see, write the following. We know that the moment of inertia is going to be the sum of I sub C plus 2 times I sub A. Um, oh, not A. Make it B. B. Why 2 times IB? Because these would be exactly the same. So it's the moment of inertia, this one, plus twice the moment of inertia, this one, because these should be the same. All right. That means that the moment of inertia is equal to the mass times the distance squared. So it would be m times the distance, which is the square root of 2 l quantity squared, plus 2 times the mass times, and the distance here would be the square root of 2 over 2 l quantity squared. And that would be the total moment of inertia, which hopefully is one of the four answers. So that would be i equals, that would be 2 l squared, so that would be 2 m l squared plus this would be 2 over 4, that's 1 half, times 2, which is another 1 ml squared. So the total moment of inertia would be 3 ml squared. And notice, that is answer number B, or oh, number B, answer B, not number B, but answer B, would then, of course, be the correct answer. And that is how it's done.